Have you ever taken a photo and been like, this is perfect? And you look at it kind of closely and you notice there's a little dust in the sensor, or there's a stop sign where you didn't expect, or like a little car poking out of the frame. Whatever it is, it's distracting from your image. I recommend the Healing Brush in Lightroom. The brush has two modes, Clone and Heal. Clone does exactly what you think. It copies the pixels from one area and puts them somewhere else. Healing doesn't copy the pixels exactly. It's like a little smarter than that. Instead of copying the pixels completely, it copies texture and color, but maintains brightness. Generally, healing is better for skin because it allows you to pull from maybe a slightly darker part of your face and put it on a lighter part of your face and not worry about having too dark of a spot or too light of a spot. Cloning I use more when I'm trying to get rid of trash or stop signs or things on the street. Next, we have to talk about feather. Feather allows you to decide how harsh the edges of your brush are, and the way you use this depends on what your subject is. For buildings or, or inanimate objects or things that aren't super textured, you can use a hard edge and a feather that's all the way to zero. In that case, you'll see just one circle. But if you bring your feather up, you'll start to see two concentric circles. That's happening because you're softening your outer edge. For this image, we want the interior circle to sit directly over the blemish. That outer circle will extend just past the blemish, and because it has a softer edge, it'll blend nicely with her skin. Opacity determines the intensity of the cloning you're doing. So here, if I'm trying to just get rid of a few blemishes, I don't necessarily need to get rid of them completely. I just want to bring them down so they're less distracting in this portrait. Earlier, we discussed dust. If you don't clean your sensor and you get dust in it, don't fret. You can use this little tool called Visualize Spots. Click this on, you can see exactly where there's dust in the image and you can go straight to it and make those changes. Thank you for watching. I hope it's been helpful. Remember, the responsibility of a photographer is to maintain authenticity in an image, so use this for small distractions and do your best to make your subjects proud. I can't wait to see what you make.